Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, we are going to be talking about breakout sessions inside of Cisco WebEx. Breakout sessions are great for a training environment, for a classroom environment, and for a meeting environment where you might need to break a large team into smaller groups to uh, work on different pieces of a project and then come back together to deliver on the whole thing. I'm going to show you how to use breakout sessions, how to get started, how to manage the attendees in those sessions, and go from there. I'd love to earn your subscription and a thumbs up. With that being said though, let's dive in and check it out. All right, so here we are inside of a WebEx. We have breakout sessions enabled in this version of WebEx. This is 40.9 and later. The first thing we need to do is actually go up to the menu and enable breakout sessions. This will actually add a breakout sessions button at the bottom of the WebEx window. This makes it very easy to configure and break your group out into separate sessions. So go ahead and click the breakout sessions button. In the window that appears, you have all of your breakout session functionality. I wanna point out some settings that are key before we actually break this group apart into multiple sessions. You have settings here. You have the option to allow attendees to return to the main meeting. If you uncheck this, they are going to be locked into that session for the duration of the session or until you uh, you know manually request that those sessions close. You can allow attendees to join breakout sessions later. You can also automatically close the breakout sessions after some period of time. This would be most helpful in maybe a classroom environment where you give everyone 10, 15, 30 minutes to work on something and then bring them back together. Finally, when you close the breakout session or when the breakout session timer is expiring, you can actually show a warning for a period of time prior to everyone being brought back together. If you've started configuring breakout sessions and you need to kind of restart, you can hit the reset button. And this allows you to choose whether you want your breakouts to be built automatically or manually. Automatically will put people into groups randomly uh, per the number of sessions that you want. So if you have nine participants and you want three sessions, you will have three participants per session. If you want to manually assign breakouts, you can choose manually and then hit reset. That reset action will create sessions for you and you can actually rename these, call this uh, team one, something like that. And then you can actually assign individuals to that breakout session. So we can choose three or four people here and do that. We can go down through and assign members to the other sessions. When we're done, we can actually hit start breakout session and it will take and put those individuals into their respective session. Now you notice that I still have a number of people who are not assigned. In this case, it would split that small group off individually. The remainder of the attendees will actually stay in the main session. I'm gonna go ahead and assign everyone, break them out and then show you what that experience is like as well. With all of my assignments made, you can see that I am the only one who is not assigned. I have four people in team one, I have three people in team or breakout session two, and I have two people in breakout session three. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start breakout session. You'll notice all the participants disappeared behind the window here. Uh, so everyone is broken out. I am actually the host and I'm still in the main session. But what I can do is I can actually join each one of these breakout sessions and see the smaller group and work with that smaller group on whatever the task might be that they're working on. Let's hit join session two. Here you can see I'm now part of a smaller session. It shows uh, which session I'm currently connected to, breakout session two, and the session time, which is how long this session has been you know, currently open. Since I've worked with this smaller group enough and I'm ready to move on, I can come to the bottom and hit the leave session button. They asked me to confirm and I'll be returned back to the main meeting. Of course, I can join any one of these other sessions and uh, you know have the same type of functionality. You'll notice the breakout sessions are listed in a separate tab than the main meeting. Uh, keep that in mind as you manage your participants. To manage the breakout sessions while everyone is broken out, I can come to breakout sessions, and you'll notice a few other functionalities that have been added. You can see the broadcast button. This allows me to send a message to all of the breakout sessions and articulate something to all of them without having to pop into each one to actually say it. I'll choose that. 
uh, I can choose uh, all or one in particular and I can say hey ending soon and I can send that message and everyone will get it. Finally when you're ready to end all of the sessions you can hit end all breakout sessions. It asks you to confirm because they are probably actively working on something and a countdown begins uh, that will uh, count down. Now I had it set to 10 seconds so after 10 seconds we will see everyone starting to pop back into the main session. Here they come now. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, leave them in the video comment section below. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you back sometime soon.